now to new incriminating testimony against former Macomb County Prosecutor Eric Smith and Assistant Prosecutor Derek Miller. Smith faces 10 felony charges, including conspiracy, embezzlement, and running a criminal enterprise. And he could face up to 20 years in prison. The case centers on keeping four off-book accounts of drug and drunk driving forfeiture cash, also spending $600,000 for his personal use. 7 Action News reporter Jim Kirchner is in Clinton Township tonight with the very latest for us. The first part of this case, what did other county officials know and when? A former Macomb County Commissioner testified he was told by co-defendant Derek Miller there was one account, not four, that should be looked at by county auditors. Then it all hit the news and was turned over to the state. Only then did Smith come forward to meet with them. I believe it was before the Michigan State Police started investigating. After an audit was announced? After an audit was announced or even before we were going to do our audit, it was kind of when it was breaking in the news that the treasurer and the prosecutor were having a, you know, a turf war about where these funds should be. Michigan State Police investigated, raiding the prosecutor's office last year to get records and removed surveillance cameras at the prosecutor's house, paid for by forfeiture funds. Thousands of dollars also went to the prosecutor's kids' elementary school. How to use all the free money. After speaking with the sixth grade teachers, they felt that iPad minis were um, a good tool that our kids would be able to use. The star witness of the day is the office manager when who I went through several more cases class, of how the money was spent together. for office parties, uh, gifts, uh, flowers. Uh, they discussed they accounts would not be turned over to the county treasurer. At times, she used her own credit card to buy things and they used a loose accounting system. When I submit a check request, I would put my receipts together and I would attach a sticky note with a summary. And who had the ultimate say how the money was spent? Eric had to approve it. And when you say Eric, you mean Eric Smith? Eric Smith. She also testified she was in meetings when they discussed changing bank ID numbers. That's important with the Derek Miller case, charged with misconduct and conspiracy to change those numbers, facing up to five years in prison. He wants his case tossed out for lack of evidence. The judge will decide that when all the evidence is in. Case continues next month. Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. All right, thank you so much, Jim.